the ambassador for always achieving your best, displayed by his profound charisma in being the self-appointed guru of chess. <laughs> this bloke is genuine, so listen to what he's about to say. Please welcome Xavier A, who will kindly share with us his prefect speech today. <laughs> child in a family of four. You have two lovable yet fearsome older brothers and a sister who is the predominant cause of annoyance in your life, yet you do anything to protect her. Now imagine you're having a problem. Imagine you've just fallen over on the road during a heated game of front yard cricket after diving for a catch that would have put Glenn Maxwell to shame. You are in agony. The skin has been scraped from both your knees and you're contemplating the possibility of life in a wheelchair. <laughs> but it's okay. You have no need to worry, because here come your heroes. Your siblings have come to care for you, to give their time just to look after you. You await the stretcher and prepare to make a dramatic <laughs> exit from a field as your siblings carry you inside. Then reality hits. <laughs> Your brothers assess the slight scratch on your knee, advise you to drink a cup of concrete, deliver multiple punches to your right arm, and walk inside to watch Tarzan without you. <laughs> this is my reality growing up, and whilst it may seem like a careless act on behalf of my brothers, I'd like to thank them. <laughs> my brothers may not have cared for me in the loving, nurturing way that Disney films would bring us to expect, but what they did was what was best for me. Growing up with my siblings, and especially being the youngest, life has been a barrage of hurtful remarks and hurtful punches. <laughs> but the moral of this story is that caring comes in many different forms. In my case, it came in the form of constant pain. <laughs> the constant pain that prepared me for life. <laughs> Short-term pain for long-term gain. And for this, to my family, thank you. <laughs> Caring is everywhere. I see it every day. Whether it be Miss Polina putting up with my annoying necessity to greet her with the wrong time of the day each time I see her. <laughs> Speaking of, good afternoon, Miss Polina. <laughs> or whether it be the loving actions of a small animated snowman from the Disney film Frozen. <laughs> I speak, of course, of Olaf. This brave snowman stood in front of a fire to care, no, fully aware of the consequences just to care for a freezing princess he met only one day previously. <laughs> He's quoted to have said, some people are worth milking for. <laughs> <laughs> this is the highest level of care. Displaying kindness and concern for others, yes, but doing so aware of negative impacts it'll have on yourself. True altruism from a happy little snowman. I could continue all day describing caring humans. For example, Rosa Parks. Her story was heard around the globe. Rosa knew her actions were against the law and knew they would have negative implications on herself. But Rosa cared. She saw the pain her people were going through and her simple action of staying seated on a bus changed not only America, but the world. Martin Luther King Jr., Mother Teresa, Nelson Mandela, Gandhi, Donald Trump. <laughs> he does do a lot of caring for himself. <laughs> These people and snowmen are one in a million, but what we can take from them is their constant desire and drive to care. Our caring actions may not be on such a scale to the world, but they may mean the world to someone else. These people do amazing things, but as we all know, it takes quite a lot of effort to care. So I now ask why? Why should we care? Why not just think about ourselves? Why would I want to waste my time to care about someone else if I could be sitting on the couch eating Krispy Kreme donuts and watching the Lord of the Rings trilogy on repeat? <laughs> to answer this question, my brain power was pushed to the limits, but in the end I came to an obvious conclusion. You see, I grew up binging on the nectar of the gods at his Disney movies, and it was here I found my answer. Scar, the evil uncle from the Lion King, was selfish to such an extent 
he killed his own brother. By the end of the film, Scar is reunited with his brother. Shia Khan, the nasty old tiger from the Jungle Book, he cares only for himself and his hatred of humans. In the Jungle Book 2, he takes a swim in a river of lava. <laughs> Finally, in the film Mulan, the Huns care only for their dream of taking control of China, and an avalanche sends most of them on an early visit to see their ancestors. <laughs> Therefore, I believe it is clear, whilst caring for yourself is necessary, caring for others leads us to a happy life. And of course, if you don't care for others, well, as Disney shows us, it's a short life. <laughs> Today, we have discovered that to care may involve simply a playful punch and some tough love. We've been inspired by the caring nature of others. And finally, we have discovered that the life without any care is life without any meaning.